Hi, this is Tanya from Love Butter Tarot back with the monthly forecast for October 2017 for Aries. How are you doing, Aries? Right, I just want to say before I start this reading, um, I am going to be away for a week uh, of this month, so my availability is limited. If anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via the link below on my uh, website and there's the booking schedule there um, because my availability is limited. It's starting to book up already and if you do want to read I would hate for you to be disappointed because I can only do so much and when I'm away I can't actually I'm going for work but I won't be able to do any readings at all okay so like I say just letting you know there so right Aries when I was tuning in to you before I started this reading um, the first thing I was getting was you have to have faith okay you've got to have faith I feel that you've given up it's like you've you've given up a little bit on the universe you know things haven't been going according to your plan they're going according to their plan okay this is it they have a bigger plan than you they know better they're saying so like I say please have some faith because it's like the universe I feel that you are very protected at the moment and it's like the universe are trying to offer you guidance but you're not seeing the signs okay so rather than asking for the signs the signs are there if you ask for you to be able to see the signs that you are being given because I do feel there's quite a lot of like angelic guidance there but you seem to be a little bit blind to it at the moment you know that's it it's like you've lost your faith in some ways you know maybe something didn't work out in the way you wanted it to or whatever and this is called causing you to question um but they're saying don't question you know they have a bigger plan for you and they're trying to guide you with this as well so stop turning away from them that's that's what they're saying it's like you can't you know um you need to look to spirit for guidance and that is where you will find your answers so i feel like when i'm looking here i feel like you are going through quite a testing time at the moment aries this is what it's saying i feel like you may have lost your like i say not just your faith but you may have lost your belief, you may have sort of given up as well on something, some idea that you had or something like that, and it's like, well, what's the point? This is what I'm sort of seeing, but the point is your happiness, and if you stop striving towards a goal and you don't have a goal, then you won't find this happiness, you know? So this is what it's saying. Keep your heart open, even though you are being tested at the moment as well, you know, because that is coming in very, very evident here for you. There is happiness and contentment coming for you, but maybe not in the way that you thought it was. Um, I feel like there could be some sort of fire sign around you. I, if they're not fire, they may have fire in their chart or they are fiery, okay? Because I feel like somebody is trying to take control of you and you are just sort of like, you, you, you're not sure what's going on here. You know, I feel this could be a person from your past or something like that, or there could be a link to the past with this. But it's like you are, you don't know what they're doing or why they're doing this or whatever and I feel it could be causing a bit of anxiety as well you know I want to say to you try and think differently around this or think differently towards this person because this is stopping you from moving forward so I really feel you need to sort of push this person out the way and and make your own path if that makes sense because at the minute when you're just sitting worrying about I think there's three different areas in your life which are causing you quite a lot of worry at the moment so what you're doing is you're like you're wanting to just cut off from them and say right okay well I'm not even going to focus on any of them but by doing that that is causing you to be more empty and I feel you may have cut your emotions off and that as well um but what this is saying is allow that, allow these emotions to flow because I feel some of you could have a block around your sacral chakra, which is your pleasure center. This is your sex center. This is your sort of joy center as well, you know. So we need to get this, this, this back. They're talking to me there. I don't know why this, this could be some of you. They're talking about hormones some of you. Maybe go and get a blood test or something like that and make sure that your hormones are like sort of working properly you know um because there seems to be a block around around this and i feel that it could be something very simple that could easily be put right and balanced out as well you know maybe look at herbal remedies or whatever but go and get medically checked out get like i say just test your hormone levels because they seem to be 
coming up there as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I really feel the first week is a little bit messy and wonky and, you know, a little bit of a mess. But then as we come into sort of after the eighth day, I feel you're going to feel freer, okay? So after the 8th of October, I feel you're going to feel freer here. I feel there could be some legal issues that you need to deal with as well. This could be contracts, this could be signing something, you know, but I really feel whatever it is, you're freeing your signing is freeing you from something rather than actually tying you into something, if that, if that makes sense. Um, and then I feel this is when you're going to feel more powerful. You're going to feel happier, you know. Um, and like I say, I feel that you are ready to walk away from the past, okay. I feel looking at your life, there's going to be a lot of contemplation this month, Aquarius. And I want to say to you again, let this flow. Don't be so rigid, you know. I mean, I know Aquarius is your very strong willed, you know, but this is saying, you know, be a little bit flexible here because your your rigidness is keeping you stuck, okay? And it's keeping you sad as well. There's a sadness here. I'm really feeling around my, my sacral chakra here. This could be, I don't know if this is ovaries or womb or something like that. There is something that needs to be um sort of addressed around that okay something uh something that you need to to do some of this 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 you could be sort of worrying about a child or something like that um but there's worries coming around and i really feel womanhood this is this is what it's saying. For some reason, some of you, I mean, obviously, if you're male, you're not going to feel feminine. But some of you are feeling like you've lost your femininity in some way as well. You know, so this is, this is, but I, again, I feel this is something to do with, with, with hormones that, that they're talking about here, you know, and they're saying focus on your heart, you know, not, not uh, on, on your womb. <laughs> Don't know what that means okay because they're saying here that there's um yeah i know it's sorry it's sorry to actually say this i feel some of you could have cystitis or something like that this is what they're talking there's there's like a fire there's a burning a, a, around this a burning and a yearning in some way so um right i'm gonna i'm gonna leave from that now but you sort of get the gist i feel sort of that that area needs a little bit uh of a check okay um but like i say i feel this month as we get into the rest of this month i do feel you're going to be balanced i do feel your faith is going to come back as well yes there is a sadness link to you you know and i feel that you're holding this back i mean aries are great in sort of putting the face on you know you are but this is saying you know this needs something needs to be let go of because it's actually becoming too heavy to carry um so you really need to rest okay if any of you can get away for a couple of days or something like that that would be ideal you know even by yourself because there's a lot going on aries you know and i feel that you need to you need to get some of your power back. You need to open your heart again. It's like you've shut it down, you know. You need to communicate how you are feeling as well. You know, this this is it. Because I feel, you know, you're there for other people when they, they need you. Let them be there for you as well. Just to help you bring the balance in. Because I just feel there is hidden pain around you, okay. This is what I'm getting. There is hidden pain around you, you know, that you're trying to hide. This is pain from the past. This is bringing fear into your present as well. And this is stopping you from moving forward. Okay, so a decision will be made this month, the which will free yourself as well. I feel that there's decisions to be made around work here or something that you were planning for work is going to be scooped in some way you're gonna you're not going to be able to do what you wanted to do with this but remember everything happens for a reason okay so there is divine it's like i say that you have a lot of spirit help around you at the moment 
if something doesn't go to plan around work, know that is because they have a bigger plan, because there is something new coming that I feel will be more fruitful and more secure as well. So finances by the end of this month are looking very, very good for you, Aries, okay? Um, I want to say there's an air sign coming in around you as well, and I, I just want to say... Be a little bit careful if this air sign is wanting anything to do with you around work because around work it seems to be that they might want a little bit of your success as well, you know, and like I say, just, just protect yourself around that. But I feel whatever is happening this month for you, the decisions you make will actually, there's a new life start and it's a new newness. But it means leaving something behind. But these changes are starting this month for you. And I feel that they will continue for the next six months. So it's like you are going to be coming clearer each month, okay? By January, I feel you that you're a lot more focused. The confusion has gone. So just like I say, try and keep your balance till then. Your dream isn't over. It's just on hold for a little bit, okay? Um that's that's what they're saying um i do feel like i say there could be a friendship that has been a friendship that could actually turn to something more or you could hear somebody say that you they want they could tell you they want something more so there could be the beginning of something this which was something that started as a friendship i feel that there's issues around your house there's something around your house and there's quick there's a lot of energy i feel like there's people coming and going coming and going coming and going i don't know if this is workmen you know or something like that but i really feel there's a lot going i feel some of you will have a trip as well which is great because that's what you actually massively massively need i feel i feel on this trip you could you could have a little bit of fun that's that that's all i'm saying for that okay this fun could be physical okay so it's it's like a little bit of a short-lived holiday romance or something like that but i feel by the time you come back from this you're gonna feel much more settled it's like you've had a bit of a stress relief or something like that you're gonna feel much more settled your home life is gonna be much more settled as well Please check the locks on all of your doors. This is what they're saying to me. Please check the locks um, and the locks and the keys. Make sure that you know where the keys are. And please check the locks and the keys on your on your door because they're showing me like a, a problem with a keyhole here. Problem with a keyhole around your home as well. Um, you know, just make sure that it is secure. That's that's what they're saying. But like I say, a bit of a tough month month to start with, uh, Aries, but I do feel it's going to pan out. And please keep the faith because spirit are around you massively, more than you know they're saying this month, okay? So I'm going to pull a spirit card and see what we have for you there. Spirit card for Aries for October 2017. Right, okay. Your feminine aspect is awakening. Feel the goddess energy inside of you. She seeks acknowledgement and validation. That's strange because that came out in there, didn't it? New energies, insights and opportunities are emerging. Wake up, embrace and celebrate. So this is it, celebrating your, your feminine as well, you know. But like I say, I do feel a checkup is needed in, in them areas as well. And like I say, maybe check your check your hormones as well. Okay, so I hope that made sense, Aries. Please let me know if it did. And again, if anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website and the link is below. And please like and share and subscribe to these videos if you haven't already because... I am desperately trying to not put these on as paid videos, okay? And I, with that little bit of help of liking and sharing them and subscribing, that helps me massively to keep them the way that they are at the moment, okay? Satnam.